Hey, what's up? How you doing? My name is Neville. I just wanted to put out this fun video. I was at home um, watching some YouTube videos, watching my friend Grace. She has a wonderful station called Grace Notes. I might even put a link below so you can check out her station. But actually, I was watching her station and I got this epiphany to cook something because she does some cooking on her station and so forth. So my station is primarily just teaching, inspiration and so forth. But today I actually cooked. So today's episode is about oxtail. I cooked some oxtail. I'm not gonna really get into the recipe. I'm not gonna get into how you make it. I'm just gonna get into the fact that I made it. I cooked it. I've never cooked it in my life. I never really um, thought about cooking it either. It takes a very, very long time. Um, it takes several hours. I've done it for about three hours. And it tastes excellent at three hours, but I'm gonna try to see if I can make it go a little bit longer and see if it will just virtually fall off the bone completely. Um, that's kind of how I kind of like my oxtail, but I'm just doing a taste test right now where it's at. So I just wanted to check it out with everybody who's watching. Um, I might do future videos on food and maybe give some of the recipes. As a matter of fact, I can give probably a little bit about the recipe right now. I just got like, you know, the typical stuff for oxtail, um, oxtail seasoning, browning, onions, um, scallions and and a whole bunch of other vegetables and nice stuff some salt um, I did throw a little bit of sugar in there I can't lie it says brown sugar I didn't have any brown sugar so I put some white sugar but at the end of the day what I really wanted to get into is just to taste test this for everybody to kind of just give you my feedback of my first um, try out with oxtail so get ready get ready let's get ready to taste test I'm gonna taste I'm gonna get a big piece first Let's see what that tastes like As a matter of fact let's look at that oh man it's falling off the bone. It's falling off the bone. Mm. One of the best oxtail I taste in my life. This thing tastes nice. I'm a sharing person. I wish I could put this through the video and so you could taste it. This thing is not. I don't like to eat in front of people. I'm kind of that kind of person, but man, this thing tastes so good. I don't mind taping this stuff and, and watching people watch me eat, man. This thing is... Mm. If I ate this at a restaurant, I wouldn't leave the restaurant. I've eaten oxtail before at restaurants and it tastes nice. People have cooked it before. But man, this thing, this thing tastes nice. See, I almost dropped out into Patra right there. It tastes so good. This thing tastes nice. My good. If you have a thousand dollars and you want me to make this for you for your party, give me a call. I'm not a chef per se, but if I make this, this is worth a thousand dollars. This is amazing. Hmm. But I'm getting lost in this oxtail. But I guess the main thing I have to say about it two things I learned through oxtail, two very important lessons. At least when it comes to oxtail, but it can apply to life as well. Is if you want something to be good, I've eaten oxtail from a lot of people and it tastes great. But one thing I've always noticed, I've never actually watched somebody cook it, but I've watched people buy it. And I've always noticed that people buy the old frozen oxtail, where they buy like, you know, the cheap oxtail. So I went and got the freshest oxtail I could find. I got a little bit, you know, because I'm not cooking for the whole world. I got a little bit and um, it was expensive, but man, I think a part of the nice taste comes out again, the fresh meat. So I think in life, the part of the, the nice things in life is to get the very best things at times. Um, if you're trying to be successful, if you're trying to start a business, if you're trying to cook food, get the best ingredients, get the best teaching, get the best um, experiences that you can get. That's one of the greatest baselines. The second thing about oxtail I can tell you is if you're an impatient person, oxtail is not the food to cook. Because I've cooked it for three hours and it tastes real nice. But I'm looking for even a little bit more. So I'm going to look at cook cooking this thing for about five hours. I don't know if I'll do an update visit a video at five hours, but I guess, well, you know what? I might just videotape at five hours and kind of 
let you see what it tastes like at five hours. But right now it's three hours and this thing tastes nice. I'm gonna second piece now. Sorry, sorry for my chopping and stuff like that, but man, this thing tastes nice. I'm gonna kind of inhale it when you're eating it. But um, what I wanted to say was, the second thing I learned is that patience. Good things oftentimes take a long time to be made. I'm trying to do other things, you know, do other things around the house, do other things like personally study and stuff like that as I'm waiting for it to cook. But it's been about three hours and this thing tastes nice. If you got it at hour one, it was really tough. If you got it at hour 30, since it's 30, if you got it at 30 minutes, it was like not edible. But when you get to three hours and you have the right seasoning and you have everything put together, man, this thing tastes nice. It tastes nice. I even I even made some errors. I think I put a little bit too much browning. I might have put a little bit too much salt. Might have put a little bit too much sugar. But at the end of the day, I think the time that it took to kind of soak in the flavors, the time that it took um, to cook, it's making this thing taste really good. So sometimes we're looking at making errors and trying not to make errors, but at the end of the day, I think two things I can get from oxtail in terms of life lessons is number one, get the best ingredients, invest in yourself, invest in what you're doing. And number two, be patient and put energy over a duration of time into what you're doing. So we'll check back in about five hours and see if it tastes any better, if it tastes any different, but man, at three hours, man, this stuff is good. If you want the recipe, I'm gonna put the recipe below in this link, you can check it out there. But as it relates to um, this video, I'll be back in a few seconds, thanks. Hey, what's up everybody? As promised, I said that I'm gonna try out the um, oxtail after five hours of being cooked. After three hours, it tasted amazing. So I'm gonna try it five hours. To be fair, I took a little piece from three hours to taste that. That tastes good. So I cooked this two hours ago. This is the one I cooked for five hours. I'm gonna taste it different. The three hours ago, I didn't even warm it up and it tastes really, really good. So three hours, off still amazing. Now I'm gonna look at five hours. Oh man, it's like falling off. It's literally falling off the bone. Just literally falling off the bone. Look, watch that. Just falling off the bone. I don't usually eat with my hands, but you know, it's tasting good, so I'm gonna eat it in my hand. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Really, really good. Really good. For those of you who don't like your oxo being too soft, five hours may be too much. But for sure, three hours would be perfect. But for me, five hours, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you for watching the show. Hope that's been an inspiration to you that you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I'm not such a chef or a cook, but this oxtail is tasting good. Tasting really good. Try it out, see what it tastes like. But definitely, I think I think three hours, five hours is good, but I think three hours for most people would probably be the better taste. Five hours, I love it, it's falling off the bone. I don't want to eat too much oxtail today. I think I ate enough for today, but I am going to probably grab one or two more pieces. But anyways, all the best. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, just press like. Um, share this video with me, with your friends. And as always, feel free to comment. Comment, let me know what your thoughts are on this topic. And if you have any other recipes that you'd like to see me make or possibly that you have made that you want to share with us. So, all right, so all the best. God bless you. And until we meet again, thank you.